Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part three. In that we'll see exercise 1.3. So here it says write the exact rational number for each point label with a letter in each of the following number line. So this is the number line given. So you can see here A, B, C and D. So here for this A, exact will be now see here this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so can you see here from 0 to minus 8 there are 8 divisions so this is the all the negative values and these are the positive values so now we have to go this way because these are all the negative values from 0 so where do you find this 1, 2, 3 and 4 but that is negative so we can say and total divisions from here to here is 8 so we can write here minus 4 by 8 and when we simplify this we can also write this one as minus 1 by 2. Now we will see for B. B is here. So again we will go from here to here. So first thing what we are going to do again we will see from 0 to 1 how many divisions do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So total divisions are 8. And so B is 1 before this one. So that is going to be 7 by 8. From here you will count all the divisions. So that is 7 by 8. Now for C. C here is 8 divisions. So this is going to be 9. 9 by 8. So that can be also written as one integer so this is the improper one so we can also write that as 9 divided by 8 so that is going to be one integer 1 by 8 and so this is the this is the 8 division 9 division 10 11 and 12 so this is the 12 12 out of 8 so this is going to be one integer 1 by 2 because this is improper so 12 divided by 8 so that will be 8 1 the 8 and the remainder is 4 so what will is like one integer 4 by 8. So this 4 by 8 can be further simplified. 4 ones are 4 twos are. So we, did, we can write this as 1 integer 1 by 2. Now let us see for this one. From 0 to this minus 1. Because these are the negative one. How many divisions we have? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So A is on the 4th position here. This is the 4th division. So this will be minus 4 by 5. Now we will go for B. B is on the, after 0, that is on the first one. So that is going to be, and it is on the negative side. So that is going to be minus 1 by 5. And C, now C from 0 to this one. So again, this is going to be, this is on the se second one, because here again we have, from 0 to 1, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 divisions. So this is going to be from, on the second division. So 2 by 5. Then D will be 2, then 3 and this 4. So that will be 4 by 5. And this will be 4 is here. This is going to be 5, 6, 7. So that is going to be 7 by 5. We can also write this 7 by 5 as 7 divided by 5. So 5 ones are 5, 2. So 1 integer, 2 by 5. 1 integer, 2 by 5. Now let us see for this one. So this is from 0 to, this is minus 1. So how many do we, here we have divisions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 divisions. So now this is on 7th, A, this is 8 and this is 9. So minus 9 by 7. So now for B, uh, 0 is here. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, minus 5 by 7. For C, 0 is here. So this is 1 and 2 minus 2 by 7. So for D, this is on the positive side. So this is going to be 1, 2 and 3. 3 by 7. 4, 5, 6. E is 6 by 7. 7, 8. So now look at here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is on 6, 7, 8, 9. 
So 9 by 7, so we can also write here f as that is 9 by 7 or this also can be written as because this is a improper one so we can also write this as 9 by 7 7 by 7 that will be 1 integer 2 by 7 1 integer 2 by 7 so now this one you can have a look and now you must have got an idea how to do this one from 0 to minus 1 how many divisions we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so this a is on the 9 position so this is these are all the negative integers so this will be minus 9 by 11 so now b starting from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus 6 by 11 so now c starting from here 1 2 and 3 minus 3 by 11 now for d d is on this positive side so this 1 2 2 by 11 e is from this to here to here this 1 2 3 4 and 5 by 11 so f here from year to year 1 2 3 4 5 6 and year let me count it again so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so we can write here f as 7 by 11 and this is going to be eight nine ten this will be eleven by eleven and this will be g is going to be twelve by so this is eleven by eleven so this is going to be twelve by eleven so twelve by eleven means this we can also write this one as one integer one by eleven one integer one by eleven So this is done. So now here again, here said the represent the following rational numbers on the number line. So here, there the already the number line was given. Here we have to represent this one on the number line. So now look at here. This is four by five. So what will we do? Four by five means roughly we'll draw a number line with. 0 1 and 2 so this is 5 so this from 0 to 1 there should be 5 divisions 1 2 3 4 and 5 so again here also you can write 1 2 3 4 and 5 and put here 2 so here now this is 4 by 5 means it is on going to be on the fourth side so 1 2 3 and 4 so this point is going to be here now minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by look at the denominator 3 so from 0 to minus 1, there should be 3 divisions, 1, 2, and 3. Hope this part is clear. We have to look at the denominator, the number of the, this, the number, and the denominator. So now minus 2 by 3 means it starts from here. It goes here because this is a negative 1. So 1 and 2. So this is going to be minus 2 by 3. This is extra just written here. You have to write at least one number. So this will be really 1, 2, and 3. So now here minus 2 integer 3 by 5 so minus 2 and this is going to be you're going to divide it into 5 parts so 1 2 3 4 and 5 in between this one minus 2 and minus 3 there should be this 5 divisions from here to here so minus 2 this is minus 2 is complete and 3 by 5 so what will you do 1 2 and 3 so this is going to be minus 2 3 by 5 hope this is clear now the next one, three integers, one by three. So this three integers means this is a positive. So you are going to divide it into three. So from three to four, so one, two, and three. 
So 1 by 3 means it will be on the first one. 1 divided by 3. So 3 integer 1 by 3 is going to be here. So this on the basis of that you can easily do this one. Again they said the same thing represent the following on the number line. Now we have fi find 5 rational numbers between minus 1 and 1 using the method of arithmetic mean. So what do you mean by this arithmetic mean here? So what we can say, we can write here, let a and b be the arithmetic mean of two numbers. So a means we can write out short form for the arithmetic mean. So you have to remember this formula, a plus b divided by 2, because you have to find the arithmetic mean. So now the numbers are when we have to find five rational numbers in between minus 1 and plus 1. So now we can consider this a as minus 1 and b as 1. So we'll put in this formula. So that will be minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2. So that would be 0 by 2. So 0 by 2 is 0. So now in between this one, we get 0. So now, now let us take any number minus 1 and 0. So if you are taking the a as minus 1 and b as 0. So minus 1 plus 0, again, you'll put in this formula. So that will be minus 1 by 2. So then you, if you take 0 and my, zero and 1, so here it will be, you will, this will be A and this will be B. So again in the same formula, that will be 1 by 2, 0 plus 1 is going to be 1. So that is 1 by 2. So if you take a minus 1 by 2 and 0, so that will, this is A and this is B. Again you will put in that formula. So minus 1 by 2. So now see here, minus 1 by 2 divided by 2. So how to do this one? This is the numerator and this is the denominator, minus 1 by 2. And this is going to be 2 by actually 1. So what happens? This numerator stays as it is and denominator gets flip over. So I have told many times, but still I'm going to repeat it. So this flip over means it is going to be 1 by 2. So this is minus 1 by 4. So now we will see 0 and 1 by 2. So again, this is A and this is B. We'll put in the same formula, 0 plus 1 by 2 by 2. Again, this is 1 by 2 divided by 2. So 1 by 2 divided by 2 means we can write here 2 by 1. So numerator stays as it is. The denominator gets flip over. So 1 by 2 stays as it is. Flip over means 1 by 2. So that is going to be 1 by 4. So we got here 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 rational numbers. So we can arrange it. So this, why did I do this one? Because 0 is here and these are the negative integers and this is the positive one. So we can write it in this way. So five rational numbers are, these are the rational numbers. So you, on the based on that one, you can do this problem. Now you have to find any three rational numbers between 1 by 2 and 1 by 3. So here what you can see, the denominators are different. So what we'll do, we'll take the LCM of 2 and 3. So this is going to be the LCM of 2 and 3 is going to be 6. So now we will take this 1 by 2 and this is 2 by 3. So we'll make it to 6. So here you need extra 3 to make it to 6. So this is extra. So same thing here should be in the numerator. So that is going to be 3 by 6. Now you can see here 2 by 3 means this 3, 3 2s are 6. So this is multiplied by 2. So this also should be multiplied by 2. So that is going to be 4 by 6. So now we want 3 rational numbers. But you can see a 3 by 6 and 4 by 6. So what are you going to in between these numbers? We need the numbers in between that will be in decimals. So what will you do? We'll take, we'll make it little bigger number. So three rational numbers between them. So again, what will you do? Uh, so if we are multiplying this by 4, now same thing, 3 by 6 and 4 by 6. So here, the, we'll see the rational numbers between 3 by 6 and 4 by 6. So 3 by 6 and 4 by 6. So if you're multiplying this by 4, so that here we get 24. So this same thing should be multiplied here. And again here, the same thing. So now you can see this is 12 by 24 and 16. So we can, in between 12 by 24 and 16 by 24, so we can get three numbers. So this was one easy way. So this will be in between this we want. So in between 12 and 16, so that is going to be 13, 14, 15. So and that is divided by two. So these are the rational numbers. So now what you can do, this we'll write as it is, but this again can be simplified, 14 divided by 24. So we can divide it by 2. So that will be 
7 by 12. So this same thing is written here by in the simplified case. So the, this stays the same. So these are the three rational numbers. Now we'll go for the next one. So this is minus 3 by 4 and minus 4 by 5. So again, we can see the denominators are different. So what will you do here? 4 into 5, that is going to be the LCM is 20. So you have to multiply this by 5. So the numerator also should be multiplied by 5. So that will be minus 15 by 20. So now this is 5. So this should be to make it to 20. We have to multiply this by 4. So this will be minus 16 by 20. So now what you can see again, we want a three rational number. So this is minus 15 by 20 and minus 16 by 20. So in between these three numbers means again, it is going to be very small number. So now let us make up the larger number. So what we will do the same thing here, here. So we'll multiply this by four. This also should be multiplied by four. So what we can see here, if you're multiplying by three, you get again here, you get uh, 60 and here you will get 40 um, for, you know, 15 3 is a 45 45 by 60 and if this again here means you will get 48 by 60 minus 48 so 45 and 48 so there will be only 6 and 7 there will be only two numbers so it's better to do by 4 and not multiply by 3 hope you got this so this is just an adjustment accordingly you can decide what number should be so this will be 80 divided by minus 60 and this will be 80, this will be minus 64. So now you can see minus 60 and minus 64. So you can see 61 in between that numbers, minus 61, minus 62, minus 63. So we get here three numbers in between. So we'll write here minus 61 by 80, minus 62 by 80 and minus 63 by 80. These are the three rational numbers. So this will write as it is, but this can be further simplified. 62 divided by 80, you can divide it by 2. So that can be written as 31 by 40. And this stays the same. So these are the three rational numbers. Now again for this one, that is 2 by 7 and 2. So 2, two means we can write this as 1. So the LCM is going to be 7. So here will be just 7 times 1. So this is uh, stays the same. But that here is 1, so here will be the same here. This is going to be 14 by 7. So now again we want three rational numbers. So what we can write here? 5 by 7. Because here, because here, see here, there is a the 2 by 7 and 14. So what we can do, there is a huge difference here in between 2 and 14. So we can take randomly in between numbers. So I have taken 5 by 7. 7 by 7 and 10 by 7. Any three numbers you can take because the answers can vary in such type of the rational numbers. So the everyone's answer can vary. So even if you are taking some other number in between this can be okay. So here 5 by 7. 7 by 7 is going to be 1. And this 10 by 7, this is improper. We can make it to mixed fraction. So that is going to be 1 integer 3 by 7. So again, this you can do, it is a similar way. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.